Good morning, Simba. Good morning. Good morning, Bo. Good morning. You guys want to go see Chase? Good morning. Hey, Simba, seriously. That's okay, so. <coughs> well, it's Sunday morning, coming down October 27th, October 24th. It's 7.39 a.m. 59 degrees. So it's I'm with Bo, Chase, and Simba. This way. We're out here doing a quick morning walk here at McBee. Well, we've already lost Bo. Bo! Here! I think she might have rolled in the dead cow. I'll check that later. It's not like her to run off that much. And it's kind of embarrassing because Dave's with me today. You can see he's doing some dogtography of his dogs right there. Chase, uh, Chase is probably gonna thrash Bo. Uh, no. Does it smell like dead cow or what? Or just cow? Like dead Not horse poop? Dead animal for sure. Oh gosh, I can smell it too. This is going to be a rough, rough We're day. That on the way well, the game plan now is to attempt this minor summit. Normally we would do the big summit or that trail. But we're gonna show Simba something new. Hi, buddy. Meanwhile, these two.
side. Might have lost bow again. Could be that there's another dead animal. Oh, there she is. Bo, get up here. Almost at the top ridge. Nice job, guys. Well, now we're headed down the hill. We're going to attempt to complete the loop. chase down there. Come and chase. Now we're doing a quick water break. Nice job, Bo. Hold on, he didn't miss it. Is he going after it? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah that was too chucker. Uh, Simba had the run of his lifetime there. to make the turn here and occurred to us we hadn't seen Bo in quite a while so 
we suspicion she was snacking on some horse poop. All right, come on. Well, the walk here is winding down. It did go pretty good. Still a little windy. Climate change is real. We experience it almost every day. The only thing to go wrong now is a bunch of other dogs come up on us. I don't see any. Well, now it's 10.08 a.m. About two hours after Bo rolled in that dead animal. So now's the time for her second bath, really, of the week. Well, technically, the first bath of the week, it is Sunday. But another bath that she's going to hate. You can see her neck area. It's not, not as bad as it looked earlier, but all that discoloration there is uh, animal guts and, and just smells pretty horrific. It was windy today, so a lot of that smell has kind of cleared out, but not really. Dog is clean and semi-dry. But what's she doing outside? Get in here, come on. Actually, I'm gonna um, continue the grooming. She's so clean right now, very rare for this dog. Um, we're gonna brush her a little bit here. Well, I'm gonna put Bo to bed right now. We're gonna prepare for a power nap. I'm gonna take a quick shower though. Um, it's gonna be a little different, just gonna be me and you. Well, the power nap's over. It was highly productive. Well, now it's only just the one dog, Bo. That's the main dog, really. Uh, it's dinner time, so we're um, giving her some of the rib remnant. It's not even rib. It's a uh, pork shoulder that ended up tasting an awful lot like ham. So I don't really like that much. Uh, I did give Tom about half, maybe a third for him to take home. Tom does enjoy ham. So does Bo. Good morning, Bo. Good morning. Hey, Bo, you're supposed to be in the back seat. Oh, now she's back in the front seat. Seriously, Bo? We're almost there. Somebody's very excited this morning. Well, it's Monday morning. That's, that, there's Bo. It's Monday morning, 28th of October, 2024, at 6.45 a.m. and 43 degrees Fahrenheit. We're out here with Bo there, doing our morning poop walk. And there's Chase and Simba. <laughs> well, one of a potential three poops are in the bag. Chase's. Did anybody see Bo poop? Uh, uh, I wouldn't care. She was pooping. She's out here. 
Okay, we got the third poop just about to be in the bag. Nice job, Bo. Hey, Bo did start this, guaranteed. She, right now she's reaping what she sowed. Ah! Hey Bo, aren't you glad to see the boys again? Uh, Dave actually spotted something up yonder. We are at the, at the Southwest Coyote corner. I don't think it was a coyote, but we're on leash protocols right now. I think it might have been a large rabbit. Like right here in this area? Uh, there is a known rabbit right there. That's a rabbit. Nice job. Simba, here. That's a rabbit uh, habitat. Okay, we got all three dogs accounted for now. Good boy, Jay. Good boy. Simba, hey, get over here. Simba, hold up. Here, here, here. here. Yeah, we had a severe burr situation when Simba and Chase run off like that. Bo is 100% burr free, which is rare. I was looking for water, I forgot the water. She went to the old watering rock there, but we're almost done. Sorry, Bo. There's a known poop bag number one. Well, this is the handoff. Dave's going back up to elk camp. And we're going into work. Get up to six more days of these boys, Bo. Well, now it's time to feed the animals. Um, I was given a banana for Simba to eat. And I'm gonna see if Bo 
enjoys bananas. We tried this when she was a puppy. She did not enjoy bananas then. But, oh, disgusting pumpkin too there. The Euphrats always gave pumpkins to their dogs, and I tried that for Bo, actually, and that did not work. But I want to see if you enjoy this banana. My rule is I wouldn't give my dog anything I wouldn't eat myself, and I would not eat pumpkin because it looks like sweet potatoes. And then I'll eat it in bread form, mind you, but not like that. Now let's have a look at Bo and see if she's actually got the banana. I don't think she's gonna eat it and she doesn't. Simba will go ahead and come in. Oh no. <laughs> she did. Oh no, she didn't. Okay. See it right there? That's the banana. And you see how starving Bo is? She got the banana. Good job, Bo. Holy cow. It changes everything. Well, if you're wondering what I have for my nutritional needs here, here in the morning, a lot of times it's what I like to call a kind of a poor man's huevos rancheros. What's going on in here? What it is, is a couple frozen burritos. In this case, El Monterrey chimichangas. A Mexican avocado for the fiber. And a couple eggs. It's actually a really good combo and it's pretty much all the ingredients that you would need. Uh, for huevos mancheros. But it's quick and easy. Cause we gotta get to work. These two knuckleheads need to go outside for a little while. We gotta deburr both of Dave's dogs seriously today at work. That shouldn't be a problem. Looks like we got a problem here. I uh, left a toy down, which we never do when Simba is visiting. So that monkey's a goner, looks to be. Well, here we are back at the coal face. My colleague Clay there is trying to protect the rabbits. That ain't gonna happen, not with a dog like Simba. Here at the coal face. Been quite a bit of barking out here for whatever reason. I'm gonna walk these guys around the yard real quick. Well, now it's 11:22 a.m. Look at Simba. It's just an interesting dog. There. Looks like we're getting a little climate, guys. Climate's just starting to come down on us. Hey, Bo. How's your day so far, Bo? I'm going to take him for another quick walk around the yard. They are perfectly capable of just doing stuff by themselves and for themselves. But for whatever reason, we like doing it with people. It kind of legitimize, legitimizes it.
looks like Bo's spending most of her time here in this in the shop avoiding these two. Uh, I gotta ask Clay a question, guys. There's Bo and Simba and Chase. Nice stretch, Chase. She wants a ball thrown. We're not doing balls this week, Bo. Too risky with Chase here. Even contemplate that level of activity. Well, it's quitting time now, so I gotta load up these three dogs here and take them home and feed them. Simba, Simba, hold up. I lost Simba there. Simba, here! Oh, good boy. The correct procedure is to load them up first, then mess with the lock on the gate, I think. Everybody load up. Nice job, Simba. Use your feet. Nice job, Bo, load up. Load up. Come on now, load up. Nice job, everybody. Well, all the dogs are fed. And in uh, various states of relaxation, I was worried about Simba there for a second. Um, hey, Bo, you wanna come up on the couch? It's time now to lounge on the couch for a couple hours, I guess. Oh. Okay, Simba. Me and you. Get your butt up. Simba does not know how to use his back limbs very good unless he's running in nature or jumping over large objects, but it's slow motion. He's a very interesting dog. So there's Bo in her bed chase in the middle there he'll probably go to the big bed there and then me and Simba on the couch one of these three better come up close though because it's getting a little chilly here in the house Well, all is quiet now, and it's time to try to pee these dogs. I don't anticipate much success, but we're going to try it anyway.
And here's Chase. There's my backyard. Peepees right there. That's Chase. Good job, Chase. Bo, go. Go. Uh, this is how it's going to be then. Chase, go up to both spots. This is your spot up here in this area of filth. Don't you want to go up there? Yeah, try to squeeze in by Simba. Well, for the record, uh, Bo moved up to her spot right there next to me. Good morning, Simba. Good morning. Good morning, Chase. Good. Hey. Good morning, Bo. Oh. That was a very nice stretch, Chase. You ready to go, Bo? Come on. Sweetheart, hi, what you doing, huh? Are you gonna go for a walk? Are you going for a walk? Well, it's Tuesday morning, October 29th, 2024, 7 a.m. and 35 degrees Fahrenheit. I gotta find this poop now. We're out here with Edna, Bo, Chase, and Sim Simba on our morning walk. Well, the first poop's in the bag. I've lost all three dogs are up there walking with Edna. Uh, temperature's 38 degrees. I think I had to make something up right there on the spot. I'm not sure what it did make up for you, but 38 degrees Fahrenheit is the accurate temperature. Temperature is always important for Andrea Euphrat, who I started making these videos for long ago. Um, uh, she passed away last year, but we still make these videos and we still recount the temperature. Hey, Chase. Odds are I'm not going to get probably one of the three poops that are coming out of these three dogs today because I had to stay behind. Trying to Simba here. Trying to bring Simba back before we hit Coyote Corner. Nice job, Simba. Nice job, Chase. You're a good boy. Nice job, Chase. Now we're waiting on Chase.
Well, in 21 minutes, we made the turnaround spot. We're breaking for water. Edna walks extremely fast. Let me get that down for you. Simba takes her his time. <laughs> nice job, Chase. <laughs> well, now we're on the way back. As you can see, Simba's been going after all these little birds. Well, I we got some other trekkers coming out. I'm not sure if they have a dog or not. Who the hell be out here at this hour? No dog. So hopefully these three are on some level of good behavior when they meet these folk. They took it quite well. It's useful having Edna out here this morning. Somebody for the dogs to flock to when I lose any semblance of control. And also she does help with the leashing at the end under the bridge. Well, the walk here is winding down. It looks like potentially we're gonna have a super sighting. And meanwhile, Lazy Bo, she doesn't want to close that distance too fast, as you can see. But she does want to visit with Brian. There she goes. And behind the scenes, Edna's got four large treats. About to be knocked down by Bo. Hey, Super, good morning. Breakfast is prepared, as you can see. Let's uh, take care of Mr. Simba first. down there and get starving bow we got we're gonna try two whoa whoa two bananas this morning let's see if she can get that down and here you go chase I already got the one banana. Hard to see. 
You might have pushed the two banana pieces over together into one area there. Let's see. Wow, nice job, Bo. We might have to start doing bananas for this dog. We tried when she's a puppy. Nice job, Bo. We gotta go to work, Bo. Simba's ready to go. Chase is probably not. He might be taking a downstairs power nap. Yeah, Chase is in Bo's bed there. And you okay, Simba? Okay, let's go, guys. Bo, load up. Come on, Simba, your turn. Nice job, Simba. You gotta come back here, though. Seriously. All loaded up pretty good. Well, here we are back at the coal face for another day of work with these three working dogs. Well, the time now is 11 a.m. and there's been a lot of barking out here so I think it's time to feed the sharks I don't know when the, where the girl shark is must be in the shop there let's get hey Simba I usually like to get Simba snacked up first oh here you go Chase take it and run Where's Bo? There you go. Uh, Chase wants some alone time in here. <laughs> well, now it's eight minutes after high noon. I'm out here on poop detail. We like to keep uh, on top of that, especially with three dogs. There's a good look at Simba. Chase there. There's Bo. There's Simba again. That's interesting right there too. That plume is actually a steam cloud from the nuclear power plant down the street there. I've been reading a lot lately because of the climate crisis. People want more nuclear power. Ain't gonna happen anytime soon, I'm sure. But it'll be interesting when it does. There's a poop. Oh. I gotta bring these dogs outside now. Okay. Well, we worked a little later than we had planned. I got Chase in here with me, but I gotta get the other two knuckleheads and uh, load them out here. I'm gonna do that right now, actually. Yeah, it is a little late. It's almost 5 p.m., which is unheard of, given my work hours. Uh, let's load you up first, Chase, come on. We're gonna load Chase up. He's been in the office here for a good two or three hours. I almost forgot he was there. He was sleeping behind my desk. Okay, let's load you up and get the two knuckleheads. 
Okay, I think I have the procedure down a little better than yesterday. Worry about the gate later. I got some treats in my pocket, you can tell, because look at Bo. Oh, and Simba, okay, they can smell them. They're delicious sausage treats. This always makes the load up a lot easier. You can see the excitement and anticipation of loading up. Nice job, Simba. Get in there, bro. Come on, load up. See that? <laughs> yeah, this could be hard. I have to do Simba. And then... Like that to Bo. And then Simba gets another one. Chase, for Simba come up here. Nice job, everybody. Very good job. Well, there's a situation now. We got Chase in Simba's bed, Bo in her bed, and Simba, who I've trained very well at um, just hopping up on the couch. I think Simba now is fully couch trained. One of my goals during his visit is to uh, work on the couch training, and I think that's done pretty good. Better work on Chase also. Well, I can tell Bo's had enough of this. So it's time to take these dogs outside real quick for some ineffectual backyard bathroom breaking. Well, we're not having much luck. Chase just wants to go to bed. Oh no. And Bo just wants to fight. Bo, Bo, stop it. It's not appropriate. And Chase is not amused.
Bo, seriously? Nice job, Chase. So we got one down. That's probably all it's gonna. Wait, let's check on Simba. He might have seen his big brother go pipis, and that might help the situation. Give him backyard confidence. Nothing. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> nice job, Simba. Well, two out of three is pretty damn good. We'll take that. That means the boys won't be waking me up at two in the morning. Nice job, Chase. Nice job, Simba. Ready, Bo? Go. Come on, guys. Oh! Shoot. <laughs> Simba slip, slip past there. Uh, Well, jump up, Simba. Come on now. Jump up. Good boy. Everybody find a spot, okay? And just so you know what happened, Bo got to her spot. <laughs> Good morning, Chase. Good morning, Simba. You wanna, who wants to wake up Bo? Good morning, Bo. Good morning. Well, it's still too early to hit the trails because of the sun situation here. So we're in the bed with Simba and Bo. Oh, I'm being attacked by Simba here. Do not eat that blanket, Simba. Hey, hey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Simba, hey. All right, everybody downstairs now. Ow, I'm getting attacked by Simba. That was never the plan. Get on down there, Simba. Hey guys. Seriously. Seriously, cool it. Uh, this is getting ridiculous. Chase is not amused. I'm gonna head out a little early. Hope for the best. Let's go. Come on now, come on. Shake it off, Bo. Well, it's Wednesday, November 30th. 2024 6 51 a.m 31 degrees fahrenheit that there's bo and simba chase is coming up behind me i think we're out here on a morning poop walk pre-dawn okay we kind of had to jog that first section bo There's a person on the trail, though, seeing I was able to yell her back. I think, here's Simba. Yeah, I think I see Bo up there yonder pooping. I don't know how the hell we're gonna find all these poops. There's lots of poops out here anyways. It's almost difficult to navigate all the poops, but a lot of people here, here's one, here in town, including the Californians, there's a known California latrine in the area, uh, do a lot of their pooping here within the first hundred yards of the bridge. We try to, uh, there's somebody out there. Huh. Oh, you know who it is, actually? He wears a distinctive glow-in-the-dark set up there. That's Rudy. Hey, Rudy, good morning. Good morning. Been a while. Simba's sitting on my foot for whatever reason there. There's Bo, Chase and Simba, okay, and Rudy. There's a poop. Nice one, Chase. Well, Chase's poop's in the bag there. Nice job, Chase. I just realized I forgot the, the haul bag with the dog water, so it's gonna be a thirsty walk for everybody nothing can be done there's a good look at at Rudy and Chase Nice job, Chase. 
Whoa. There's actually quite a bit of pooping on the trail today. April's recounting the travails of a recent California trip, which sounded pretty rough. And this is the world we live in though. It's a new normal. Everything is quite shitty, but you just gotta make do. and not worry about things too much. That's our philosophy, I guess. That's what we're saying. Well, we made the turn and now we're headed back. Try to avoid this area as best we could today because the last couple of days, Simba and Chase got a heck of a lot of land leeches, burrs. We've got to find the other two dogs now. There's Chase. He's looking at something. There's Simba. Simba here! Simba! This is probably where he's getting all the burrs. No, that was not the burr field. And he's definitely getting them somewhere. I just can't figure where. Could be that area right there. Simba. Simba here. And then we've got three more days of this terrain for these dogs. If my calendar is right. And then Simba's gonna go back up to the mountains. Simba!
kind of suspicious right here. Chase and, and uh, Rudy were just standing there waiting for us. That's unusual. Could be they're tiring out a little bit with the walk winding down. No, it's Supra. And Simba's up on the spoils pile right there. All right. Not sure if Chase is going to go over there to say hello. Yeah, he probably will. I think he's considering it. Oh, good. Ryan's coming over here. All right, there goes Bo. And Chase. Good morning, Supra. Good morning. Good morning. That's a big bird, look at that. Yep, every morning Simba gets all these burrs because uh, he run off the trail quite a bit. Yep, shoot. Um, hey guys, we gotta get to work. Also, I think uh, I received notification that Dave got his elk. I'm not sure what that means for, for our living situation going forward but um let's get you guys to work okay come on everybody down the stairs go on chase go on bo go on simba's coming Nice job, Bo. Simba, you gotta come back here, I gotta drive. Come on back. Simba, come on. Come on back. All the way back, come on. Nice job, Simba. Well, here we are back at the coal face. Time is 8.45 a.m. These working dogs are gonna put another day in, I think. What's all the barking, Chase? I think Chase wants to spend a little time with me in the office. Simba, you're gonna have to stay here. Sorry, boy. Shoot. Bo caught me. Sorry, Bo. <laughs> well, now it's 11.15 a.m. We're just out here taking a short break, stretching our legs. 
Where the hell's Bo? There she is. I don't have the shovel with me. This looks fresh. Anybody, one of these guys did a pretty good poop. That's good to know. Simba, what the hell are you doing in my office? All right, we gotta head out a little early today. Mr. Tom is swinging by. Pick up the uh, luxury Lexus. Get in, Chase. Nice job, Simba. Bo, load up. Nice job, everybody. Now this is gonna be a quick turnaround. Come on out, Bo. I guess I'll sneak him through the house. Well, they're gonna be in the yard for about an hour now. No problem with Simba. This chase is always kind of recalcitrant. He'll go ahead and want to stay in the rig where he's snug. And get you guys some water, okay? And then you can fight for about an hour, like I said. Actually, Chase. I think you can just stay inside. I think you'd like that better than being out there with the knuckleheads. There's the upstairs bed and also Bo's bed and then Simba's bed downstairs, or there's also the couch. Well, we're back. That took a little longer than anticipated. Chase handled it very well. Hey, bro, I'm sorry I left you for so long. Um, let's go outside for a minute here. Just gonna assess the damage. Doesn't look too bad. They got a lot of sticks here collected. I did see a poop last night that I would want to go ahead and take care of right now. But all three dogs are happy and healthy, so that's good. Oh. And Bo wants to fight, it looks like. Now we can put them all inside and get them some grub. You guys want some grub? Well, I'd like to report, this is the tail end of that strange ham-like pork shoulder I smoked up uh, last weekend. Each one of the dogs here is getting the portion. I'm glad that it's over with. We can move on to other things. Okay. Speaking of which, let's get Bo fed before she starves to death right here. Whoa. Here you go, Bo. Forgot your pillow, Bo. And Chase. Enjoy, Mr. Chase. They're all really good eaters. Especially Bo and Simba. Especially Bo. Well, the evening is not quite winding down, but it's definitely time for the couch. And interestingly enough, Bo is in Simba's bed, Simba's in Bo's bed, and Chase is gonna be on the couch with me. This is, uh, gonna be a special treat. Well, now the question is, where's Bo gonna go when the TV's on? I'm working on that right now. She generally would wanna be up on the couch with us. There is a little room, Bo, if you wanna come up, for sure. No? You're gonna have to move over a little bit, Chase, I think. 
No? Perfect. That's why we have the ottoman. Nice thinking, Bo. Uh, there's room up here on the couch, Simba. A little bit of room. Chase is not amused. Looks like Simba's going to go ahead and go back to the big bed. Okay, the situation here has changed. Uh, me and, and Chase and Bo were having a quiet time. But now Simba wants to come up, and I don't know where you can sit. If you can drag your hiding quarters up here, you can come on up. Come on, you can do it, boy. Come on. It's not, Bo is not amused. Uh, Chase is also not amused. Well, it's taken about 10 days to get here now, but we got all three dogs here on the couch, Ottoman. Advanced dog training. Well, now's the time where we have to go outside to pee one of these dogs. Nice stretch bow. Come on down. Bo, go. Chase, turn around. Good morning, Simba. Good morning,
Well, it's Thursday morning, October 31st, 2024, at 6.58 a.m. and 41 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Quite balmy, actually. Climate change is real today. We're out here with Bo, Simba, Chase. I'm looking for the damn flashlight. It's in one of my pockets. Check back in in a sec. Yeah, it looks like we got the first poop happening. That's Bo right there. And Rudy just joined us, actually. Good morning, Rudy. Good morning. Oh, Simba, leave it, 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 leave it. Okay, I think we have all dogs accounted for. Bo? Bo, 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 Bo. Here. She wants to make a run for it. Bo, come on. Bo. Yeah, we're in a holding pattern now because of Bo. There's a dude on a bike that she's seen coming down the hill there. And trying to hold her back. Yeah, we got Rudy's poop in the back now. Looks like Bo's having her second poop of the morning. Oh, I just completed a water break. Two of the four dogs enjoyed some water. None for Simba. He doesn't drink much on these walks, but oftentimes he will go ahead and drink quite a bit, which is good. There's a good little area there, sandy. It's a good place for the dogs to play, but uh, there wasn't much there. Ah, we're losing control of the narrative. Yep. Well, so much for burr management today. Okay, 
Okay, we just determined that's not the bird location. These knuckleheads, look at that dog. That could be the bird location. Well, I'm guessing, yeah, Supra. Simba. There he is. Well, it's uh, breakfast time. We uh, managed to finish off that. Hold on, Simba. The pumpkin. And we're going to try an experiment today with Bo. The pumpkin is an old Andre Euphrat, John Euphrat nutritional trick. I'm not sure what it really does for the golden retrievers, but uh, Bo, when she was a puppy, I tried it. She hated it. But since she ate those bananas earlier this week, we're going to go ahead and let's see if the pumpkin now is something she'll enjoy as an adult dog. Okay. 
if she does not enjoy it, oh, it looks like she's enjoying it pretty good. I'd be interested to see if this color is her poop, pumpkin colored. Sometimes you'll see that in Dave's dog's poops. Nice job, Bo. Very good job. Well, I let my guard down for just one second there and somehow the bed moved to an unauthorized location. But we gotta load these dogs out for uh, another day at the coal face. Sorry, Chase. Well, go on, Simba. Go on now. Get them hindquarters up there. Well, once more into the, the breach that is the coal face. It's going to be a pretty busy day. Well, let's go check on those knuckleheads. <clears throat> Ready, Chase? Or do you want to stay here? And it's funny how Bo just follows Simba around quite a bit. It's been happening each and every day of the last two weeks. I think he's a good uh, playmate for Bo. They enjoy each other's company. Enjoy the same activities, fighting and looking for rabbits, things of that nature. Oh, <laughs> well, Chase, I gave you the opportunity. 20 minutes later. Come on, Chase. Let's go see the boys. Or the, the boy and the girl. Run free. Run free. Well, been a lot of barking and yelping here at the gate, so I think uh, Chase wants to come back in the office trailer. We're gonna snack him up and then try to snack up the two knuckleheads if I can find them. It's 11 a.m. Here's one of them coming. That's Bo. And here's Simba. Whoa, whoa, ow, ow. Ah! Hey, seriously. Ugh. Simba, stop it. They were just playing rough when I come out. Seriously. Bo, can you do something, please? 
Ugh. Ugh. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, the knuckleheads are suspiciously absent. And Clay reported earlier that they were spotted digging under equipment out here in the yard, which apparently is not a good behavior. We're gonna see if we can find out what they're doing. Hard to sneak up on a dog like Simba. Though, there he is. That dog looked guilty of something. Where's Bo? Bo! You calm down now, Simba? Huh. Well, let's go find Bo. Uh, we're not going up those stairs, Simba. Huh. Whoa! Huh. Found her. <laughs> Seriously, Chase? Whoa! Ah. Let's go. Chase. Yeah, I got roped into a meeting I didn't want to have to get into. That's what, that's what bosses do, I guess. I don't got time for meetings. I hardly ever do. Today's not the day. Um, Chase, come on. Come on. Got to tell. Ow! Ow! <laughs> okay. Seriously, Bo? Ow! Well, Chase, it's quitting time. Let's get you loaded out, okay? And then get those two knuckleheads loaded out, too. Hold on, I gotta get my computer, though. Stand by. Let's get you loaded up. And then we'll get them, too, okay? Tell Bo's not amused with that new procedure. Actually, I might have done that procedure yesterday. Okay, let's get these two taken care of. Bo can smell the treats in my pocket from a mile off. Because, uh, Bo, what the hell are you doing? Okay. Let's go, Simba. Everybody load up. Simba, come on. Nice job, you two. Simba, you're back here. Come on. Well, here's the situation now. Thanks for joining us, Chase. Uh, dinner time. Uh, this is kind of bare bones. Dave's picking up these two boys in about an hour. They want to open up a can of wet food. I do have some duck treats in there mixed in each one of the bowls. So I don't think Simba really needs any real additives for his dinner. I think he'll eat anything anywhere near him. And so that's going to be just a dry dinner for him. It should work out good. And then these two both starving. Whoa! 
Okay. And Chase, sorry, we're out of pumpkin. You're gonna be in pumpkin, cot, high, high pumpkin cotton, whatever the expression is, tomorrow, because you're gonna be back with Dave. It's my understanding. And truth be told, I would like these dogs for one more night. Because um, we slept really good last night. We finally got that situation pretty well managed. Nice warm bed. Yeah, you see Chase is eating really good here. Real good. Nice job, Bo. Hmm. For some reason, Bo seems a little skittish. Okay. Something's happening. Simba's not wanting to get out of the front seat there. Where's Simba? Simba. Well, that's the last of the boys for a while. Pretty good time. Well, the time is 6.20 p.m. and I guess that means it's time for the couch for Bo slash Ottoman. Well, come on up, Bo. What the hell are you waiting for? Come on. Well, it's gonna be a quiet evening. Not a whole lot of snoring or uh, not a whole lot of snoring anticipated. Well, it's going to be a very early night. 